increased longevity is an eternal human quest. Is there some wizardry to make us live longer? Well, we know that we can eat better, uh, exercise, stay away from contagious disease, select our parents properly. All of that is good. But what about adding a little bit of green to our life? Can that make us live longer? Maybe so, at least judging by a paper that just appeared in a respected peer-reviewed uh, journal. And in this paper, scientists contend that there's a link between reduced mortality and uh, living in areas with more green space. Well, these days, satellites can map every feature of the Earth, including the amount of green space, because uh, green plants, for example, don't reflect light the same way as concrete. So there's actually a measure called the Normalized Difference Vegetative Index, VDVI, uh, which uh, is uh, really a, a relationship of the amount of green space available to, to non-green space. So what did the researchers do? They collected data, which in the U.S. is available from the Centers for Disease Control, about mortality in 35 different regions in the U.S. And they focused on people over the age of 65. And they compared the extent of green space in those areas to mortality. And interestingly, they found an association the more green space, the lower the mortality over the three different years that they investigated. Fascinating. But remember that this is an association that can never prove cause and effect because they're confounding factors. Maybe these areas with more green space have more lawns, they have more trees, they have more backyard gardens. These tend to be more affluent areas. So maybe there people eat better, they exercise more, they have better access to medical care. So those are confounders. But let's face it, uh, we can all agree that uh, uh, looking out at a green space and listening to chirping birds is better than staring at a brick wall and listening to a jackhammer and the sounds of traffic. How much better? Well, these researchers actually try to put a numerical value to that, and based on their calculations, they say that anywhere from 34,000 to 38,000 lives in, in the U.S. can be saved a year just by increasing green space a little bit. Well, you know, this is uh, questionable just how reliable that number is, but uh, there are studies in hospitals, for example, that show that patients do better if they look out the window and they see a tree-lined street, then if they have no view at all. And if they have plants in the room, they also do better. And, you know, we have a tradition of, of taking uh, plants and flowers to people in the hospital, maybe because we have noted over the years subconsciously that this is good. It makes them feel better. Now, what can we do individually? We can't really control our surroundings, you know, so that we can't go out, you know, in our neighborhood and start planting trees. But maybe we can do something at home. Maybe just by surrounding ourselves with greenery, like plants in the home home, maybe that has a stress-relieving effect. And uh, I, I think that it is a good guess that m that might be the case, uh, because we... As humans try to commune with nature, we feel good when we look out and we see mountains and lakes, etc. It does relieve some stress. Uh, what kind of plants? That's very difficult to, to know. I do have plants in the office here, and I'm uh, surrounded by them. I look out at this one uh, all the time. I've even forgotten that it's artificial because these days, of course, you can make them look very real. Is it providing me with stress relief? I don't really know. Uh, I guess I shouldn't be sitting so long every day. Uh, that probably would be better to get up and, and walk around every hour, which, uh, which actually I tend to do because I'm guided by my Apple Watch. So anyway, that's, that's the story. I think that one can make an argument for surrounding ourselves with, with green, for stress relief. And that for today is our Cup of Joe.